What? What's going on? Whoa. What the hell is going on here? Dana White just announced for UFC 307 Alex Pereira versus Khalil Roundtree. Now, I'm going to be fair, right? Because I am a hardcore the sport. That was a matchup that people were kind of looking forward to, that stylistic matchup. It's going to be entertaining 100%. There's no possible way that fight's going to be boring. You know, if you know Khalil Roundtree, you know how dangerous he is. You know how great of a you know how great of a kickboxer he is. He's been finishing the majority of his fights. Like four out of his last five are all finishes. I think one of the only guys he might have not finished. It might have been Dustin Jacoby. I think he might have finished. There was one guy he didn't finish. But Khalil Roundtree was scheduled to fight Jamal Hill at the I think it was the Connor card which I think Jamal Hill ended up main eventing, something along those lines. But he was supposed to fight Jamal Hill at a Conor card, right? It was originally a co-main event. Khalil Roundtree had to pull out because of some type of substance. Some, he popped for some kind of drug. Right? Cool. Okay, go get that situated. We know how that, we know how that is. But now he's getting a title shot over Magomed Ankalaev, who's literally ranked number two. Now... The more that we get some details on this fight, because I'm, I'm a little bit pissed. I'm a little bit annoyed because, like, I'm a fan of the sport, but it's just, like, when they do stuff like this, it's like, bro, c come on, man. There's just no there's, there's no clarity in terms of, like, what contenders should really be looking for. It's like they have to sell themselves as some type of character or something. And, um, you know, for the most part, we knew that, but it's, like, it's strictly becoming that now. Like, forget the skill. You just have to be entertaining in some kind of sort. And it's like, come on, man. These are fighters. Not everybody's going to be knocking people out like Connor. We can't just keep on going off of that so i gotta look at the rank the rankings really quick to get a reminder magomed ankalab is ranked number two he just got a knockout victory over johnny walker he's coming off of a knockout victory it's not like he's out here just wrestling and holding on to people i just think that the ufc knows that once magomed ankalab gets his rightfully deserved title shot not on some short notice like a, like how he had with jan blovich a legitimate title shot he will win the championship belt they know this like i said i'm hoping that the ufc literally offered him to fight and he just didn't you know couldn't make it in within the time because ufc 307 is in a is it in a couple months i don't know i think is it in october i don't know but it's pretty soon so maybe magomed ankalab couldn't make it i don't know but below him jamal hill i mean number one ranked yuri he got knocked out twice by alex number three jamal hill knocked out by alex number four jan blahovich he had his chances rockish just got knocked out nikita krylov is the next guy why would we give him a shot Vulcan's the next guy. He's already had a title shot before. And then Khalil Rontree, number eight. I guess it makes sense if you're not going to give it to Magomed, but absolute wild stuff. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, a funny tweet from Jamal Hill. He actually said, can't believe what I just saw. And now it's so a guy pulls out of a contender fight because of a failed drug test for a banned substance and gets rewarded with the title shot. This is terrible for the sport and makes the rankings completely pointless. It does. It does. Because if we're going up the rankings, then the next deserving guy is Nikita Krylov. He is ranked number six. But I don't even know who Nikita Krylov recently beat. To be honest, if I'm, if I'm being real, I can take a look. His last win was over Ryan Spann. Ryan Spann's a bum. He did win by submission, though. Before that, he beat Volkan Ozdemir. Pretty decent win. And then before that, he beat an old, over the hill Alexander Gustafsson. So... Definitely was gonna give it to you know. Definitely was not gonna give it to Nikita Krylov, um, but he's y'all get the point. Y'all get the point. Very confusing stuff. I don't know what the hell is going on in the UFC right now. Dana White is. I don't know what's going on with him, man. But very ridiculous fight. Um, from Alex Pereira's standpoint, as soon as he, as soon as Alex Pereira decides I'm done fighting, he needs to be immediately put into the Hall of Fame, like first ballot. I don't care. What this man has done in his career is is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But looking at the rest of the card, you got the co main event, Pennington versus Pena. Um, we knew that fight was coming. I don't really want to break that down. Some people thought Kayla Harrison was going to get the shot, but um, I guess you just got to see her win one more fight at least. Um, I think Kaylin, she's actually on this card too. Yep, she's actually on this card. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, next, we got Wonder Boy versus Joaquin Buckley. That's going to be a great fight. There's no possible way it's going to be boring. Next up, we got Jose Aldo fighting Mario Batista. 
Um, it's kind of interesting to see Jose Aldo take a fight backwards when he just beat somebody to get back in the rankings. He's ranked number nine right now. He's fighting Mario Batista at number 12. I don't know. This fight doesn't even make sense. It looks like they just offered Jose Aldo the fight, and he just took the fight. And he just took the fight. But um, Mario Batista, he's going to lose this fight because, I mean, he's going to have to try to grapple Jose Aldo, and he's going to clearly lose. So unless he can hang on him like Marab did, but I thought it's going to happen. Next up, we got... Roman Delize versus Kevin Holland, middleweight bout. Kevin Holland back at middleweight. They're giving Holland another chance to jump up the middleweight rankings. Right now, he's ranked number 15. He's going up against number 10 in Roman Delize. Perfect opportunity for Kevin Holland to start to like jump back up um, into middleweight. Then you got Aljo versus Mazbora Ivoloyev. Shout out to Aljo for taking this fight because this is a tough fight for both of them, I feel. Um, I don't know, man. There's something about these rushes, man. They, they, there's something in their DNA that is just like, wow. But Aljo's tough, though. I like Aljo. Um, and then we got Ketlin Vrida versus Kayla Harrison. So, number two versus number three. If um, if uh, if Kayla gets the win over Ketlin, then she's going to end up getting the tower shot. So, this is a good card. It's not a bad card. Um, yeah, it's not a bad card. But, again, let me know what you guys think about this. Because this is... I don't know about this, man. I like the fight just because of the stylistic, the style of the fight. But for the sport, it's like, damn, that's kind of messed up, man. Even though, you know, the fan in me is like, damn, that fight is going to be exciting. But then it's like, I don't know, man. The UFC is ridiculous right now. It's crazy. Um, but I guess I can't sit here and complain about this if I'm, you know, if I'm vouching for John Jones to fight Stipe because that fight was already booked. A lot of people want to see Aspinall. I'm like, hey, they already had that fight booked. It's a legacy fight. Greatest heavyweight versus the greatest of all time. Why not make that fight? It was already booked. But MMA is a crazy sport, man. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, yeah. Wild, wild stuff, man. Wild stuff.